Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, then welcome. My name is Mia Danielle and I chat all about holistic and clutter-free spaces. So if that's something you're into, be sure to click subscribe and turn on those notifications. I release new videos usually every Tuesday. Speaking of which, Fancy seeing you here on a Thursday. This is my bonus video as promised on Tuesday where I'm taking you along with me while I do my thrift shopping and I'm showing you the things that I consider whenever I go thrift shopping. I've said in many videos in the past that probably 90% of my clothes are thrift shop purchases. I prefer to do my clothes shopping via thrift stores for so many reasons. Um, for one thing, I just think that it's more fun. I enjoy kind of like the process of searching for some really great finds in a myriad of clothes. Like there are so many different style varieties that you can find when you're thrift shopping. If you're into vintage, you know, you can look for vintage items. If you're into a more youthful modern style, you can find thrift stores that specialize in that. And you're not limited to whatever's being pushed out for that fast fashion season, right? You have like all of these other options, which I think is more enjoyable and you're able to get more creative with your outfit creations. So there's that. Also, it's obviously so much better for the environment. You're giving these clothes more than one life. So even if somebody initially bought an item of clothing at a more big box style store that is pushing fast fashion, I feel totally okay with buying that same item secondhand because at least then I'm helping to reverse, in my mind, some of the damage that's been done by these bigger box stores by giving these clothes a longer lifespan and not feeding into the fast fashion culture, if that makes sense. Do what you can, essentially. And then of course, there's just the money factor. You can buy a thrifted item even that still has the tags on and you'll end up spending a fraction of the cost of what it would have been to buy that item new. So you're saving money. If you don't have any thrift shops in your area or you don't have any good thrift shops in your area, places that really carry the styles that you're looking for or have good quality of clothes, there are a variety of online options as well. You can find entire lists online. I think that one of the coolest ones that I've come across is called ThreadUp. And it's really neat because you can enter in your sizes for everything as soon as you come into the website. So your shirt size, your pant size, you can put your shoe size, and then it'll pull up thrifted clothes. and they have a variety of types of clothes as far as price range, you know? So if you're looking for higher end vintage clothes, then they can pull up some of that. Or if you're looking for the cheap jogger pants, you know, they have a variety of clothing options. So there's ThreadUp, there's Poshmark that a lot of you may have heard of, there's Swap where you can actually send your clothes in and buy reused clothes as well. Even Goodwill has shopgoodwill.com. Now they don't have all of their items of clothing, which I can understand because that would be so many clothes you would never be able to get through the list. Um, but they do have, I think, some of their, their nicer items um, uploaded to goodwill.com. You can even look by location. I've seen like lists of available online thrift stores for Canada, for the UK. So I would say take a look online for those. I know that Thrifted is a big one in the UK and you can just find tons and tons of specialty thrift stores. So if you wanna wear like 70s to 90s thrifted clothes, there's a shop online for that. If you wanna wear just vintage from certain brands, there's a shop online for that. Even Patagonia has their Patagonia worn wear clothes. If you've ever heard of Patagonia, they have like sports and athletic type of clothes that are really good quality. It's a very sustainable company. They have a whole worn wear site where you can ship in your lightly used Patagonia clothes or you can buy used Patagonia clothes for a discount. So just, I would say, take a look out there because there's a lot that's available even in the online realm. When I was growing up in a really small town in Southeast Texas, we had our local resale shop that was just two doors down from the place that I worked. And I would go there all the time. I would upcycle my clothes, bring in a bag and leave with a bag. And it was just constantly being recycled. So you might want to take a look at just any local, personally mom and pop type of consignment shops that may be in your town, especially if you live in a small town, which kind of kills two birds with one stone because then you also have a location where you can upcycle your used clothes instead of just dumping them at a donation center or trashing them. Now, since moving to Oregon, we have so many Goodwill stores just within driving range that that's usually where I go. And they're actually 
pretty decent Goodwills. I mean, it can be hit or miss, right? Depending on the location, you can go to some that are just feel really dirty and don't have a lot of good quality. And then you can go to some in other areas that feel like you're walking away with a steal. So a lot of it really depends on area. And I would say if you're going to invest an entire day or a weekend and going thrift shopping, that you do a little bit of research because the location of the shop is gonna determine the quality of the donations. What they're near as far as community resources country clubs, colleges, you know, etc. depending on what it is that you're looking for. Also, as always, look at the reviews. Do a quick Google search of what's in your area. It'll pull them up on the map, you know, where you can see what's in what locations. And then before you decide or nail down a place, look at the reviews for each of those places because you can find a lot of information just from people's previous experiences and save yourself quite a bit of time. So I look for things that say that people got, you know, a really good deal or that they have a, a great variety of modern youthful clothes because that's what I tend to go for. You might be able to see in the reviews that they offer specific vintage clothes or that they have a good collection of menswear or handbags, you know? So depending on what it is that you're looking for, you can find a lot of that information by looking at the review, including is their customer service worth messing with? Is the store clean, etc. So take a look at the reviews, take a look at the neighborhoods of the areas, nail down a place. You'll just save yourself a lot of time from having to drive around and sift through a bunch of clothes because thrift shopping, unlike going to just regular stores where you're limited in your options, when you go thrift shopping, you can spend hours in a store. In order to find the good things, you really do have to sift through a lot of clothes. So I do usually go to Goodwill, but I kept hearing about Plato's Closet online. And so I was wondering if we had something like that in the area. And it turns out we did have one that just opened that's just a couple of miles away. So this time I decided to check out Plato's Closet. And I'm surprised that I haven't heard of it before because apparently it's the fastest growing retail franchise in North America with 460 locations. Yes, I did just research that. So this particular resale shop wouldn't be for everybody. It does focus on teen and young adult type of attire. I tend to purchase more of the young adult style clothing. So this was actually a wonderful, amazing find. I couldn't believe that they had so much of exactly what I was looking for. The first place that I walked inside of Plato's Closet had so much of what I was looking for just on that one rack. They offer 70% off of the retail value of an item. I really wanted some cashmere. I wasn't able to find any, at least not that I'm aware of because a lot of the clothes that I bought didn't actually have the materials on the tag. And I assume that it would have if it was actually cashmere, but I was able to find some things that really fit in with my initial goal. So before I went thrift shopping, I created just a really quick Pinterest board. This wasn't something that I had been collecting for months or weeks, literally I sat down and I just started scanning through things that I knew that I was gonna want. So I wanted some jogger pants. I wanted to, like I said earlier in the week, I wanted to get rid of my plaid lounge pants that were clearly pajama pants that I would have to change out of if I wanted to leave the house. And I wanted to get something that was just as comfortable, but that I could also wear to the store if I needed to run to the store real fast. I also wanted some more pullover sweaters that also, again, looked nice, looked nice enough for me to be able to wear to the store and feel like I looked good in while also being warm and comfortable at home since the majority of my time, probably like 95% of my time is spent at home. That doesn't mean that I don't want to feel like I'm occasionally looking nice or able to leave the house if I need to without doing a full on wardrobe change. So that was my primary goal. I didn't go too detailed with my Pinterest board because I wanted to have some room for finding things and feeling inspired with what I wanted to bring into my closet, but I did wanna have a little bit of a direction. I knew that I also wanted to bring in more neutral colored clothes. I have a whole lot of gray clothes. I have a little bit of you know black colored clothes, but I don't have any beiges or browns and just some of those really nice soft neutral colors, creams and stuff. And so I really wanted to bring in some of that. So the first thing I got was this three quarter inch, almost crop top, but not quite. I really love the open collar area. I'm a big fan of three quarter inch sleeves because I feel like you can wear them for so many different seasons. You can layer over them or you can just wear them by themselves in the fall and the spring. I also got these pants. So one of the things that I was looking for was joggers, something with a drawstring, something with pockets, something that wasn't super flare-legged, which this one is not. 
This was the only summer shirt that I got. I didn't initially go there looking for summer clothes primarily, and I thought that it would be really great to layer over with a cover that I also ended up purchasing that is definitely within that beige warm tone. I love this color. And so I got this because I didn't have one before. I also really like the arms on this because it tapers down around the wrist and then it kind of balloons out a little bit down the arm. And you can just see that the material is super soft, really seamless here on the inside. And I think that these colors go nice together, but I think that this is gonna go well with a lot of the shirts that I got. I don't really care for turtlenecks. I like that this is kind of a, a trade-off. It's still wide enough that it's not pressed up against my neck, but it still adds a little bit of style. You can see that the material is just super soft. I didn't only wanna get big slouchy pullovers, you know, I wanted to have a little bit of variety. And so when I saw this corduroy style shirt with this interesting tiger print. I'm really fond of the fit. I like really tight and fitting or really big and slouchy. And so this kind of feeds the tight and fitting side of what I like. I also got these pants. These are like super high-waisted. Check this out. They go like way up, which I actually thought was really cool. I know that it can look kind of granny style, right? Matt was not so sure about it, but when it comes to wearing crop tops with it, like Nothing's gonna show. This sweater was just a simple, elegant choice. I did want something that felt really comfortable, but was also just really simple and basic. Wasn't too slouchy, wasn't too defined, right? And I feel like this is just a really simple piece. It's also very soft. So this hoodie, again, something that was just really soft. Can you tell that I like comfort, right? And so my goal was to get at least a couple of different hoodies. And um, this one just kind of like a statement piece, right? So it's got the big balloon arms, but it also tapers in at the wrist, which I like. Hello in there. And then I got this slightly more grungy looking hoodie. And also, like I said, I'm really into hoodies, especially since it's always drizzling or raining here during the late fall and winter. And then last but certainly not least are these two items, which may be my favorites of the whole set. Um, these are really soft pants, and I got these as a replacement for the lounge pants that I decluttered earlier in the week that I showed you. Um, these are like, they're tapered and they have a little bit of ribbing at the edges. So they look a little more fancy, but they still feel super comfortable. They have like a t-shirt, almost silky type of feeling to them. They also have pockets, which are great because my last lounge pants did not have pockets. They fill that void of me having something that I can wear around the house as lounge wear, but also get away with wearing to the store and it'll still look nice. That was my main overall goal. And then this shirt is just so soft. I actually just wore this to Rite Aid and the lady behind the counter asked if she could touch it because it felt so soft. No holes, no stains. These are just perfect condition. So that's it. Hopefully you got some ideas, maybe a little inspiration to go on your own thrift shopping journey. Uh, let me know down in the comments what thrift shops do you have in your area that you're getting a lot of use out of? Because again, I didn't know about Plato's Closet until the week that I went thrift shopping. So maybe we can share ideas and we can all kind of workshop off of that. Today's video was a bonus video for the one that I released on Tuesday, which was me decluttering my wardrobe. So if that's something that you need a little inspiration for as well, then be sure to go check out my full wardrobe declutter and I'll chat with you next week.